Hello everybody! Today, we're going to unbox the XL Van Twin Automatic Watch Winder, take a close-up look, and test it out. So let's go ahead and open up the box. And at the very top, there is a user manual leaflet detailing the four different operating modes. So as you can see, there is a clockwise and anti-clockwise rotation for the watch winder. And on the back, it appears to be the same instructions in German. Okay, so let's go ahead and remove the rest of the contents. Okay, so there is a little white box here, which I think is the power adapter. And let's go ahead and remove the watch winder from the box. And I'm stretching just a little bit here because the camcorder is in the way, so just bear with me. And okay, so that's the box emptied out. And let's go ahead and open up this little box here. And so it is the power adapter. And let me undo this cable tie here to show you the length of the power adapter cable, which is always handy to know when it comes to positioning or placing your watch winder. Okay, so now let's put that down. And let's go ahead and open up this protective bag here. And there is a protective paper sheet there. So that's the twin automatic watch winder. And it's quite a hefty piece here. So I'll give you a close up look. So you can see the detailing on it. It's a wood grain finish on it. And on the back side, there is the adapter socket and power switch and on the underside is a battery compartment so it has dual power operation so it can use the mains power through the power adapter or using two size D batteries. So we'll test it out in just a moment. OK, 
Okay, so let's go ahead and pop the lid open there and show you what it looks like on the inside. So there is a control knob and there appears to be a key under that pillow there or cushion and they are wow just crunch my thumb right there okay so i was saying that there's three cushions or three compartments down below to store your other watches or you can actually remove the cushions and store other items in them instead so it's completely up to you how you want to do that so let's go ahead and remove that top cushion or pillow and let's see if there's a difference in terms of the design of the cushions so there is a difference between the ones in the compartment and the ones at the top as you can see let me put it down okay and of course there is a key to lock up the watch winder so nobody can tamper with your watches or the setting because the knob for the modes is located inside the watch winder so there we go so nice and secure there even if it's a basic level of security there Okay, so let's put the key aside and let's uh, go ahead and pop some batteries in. So let's test it out with some batteries first. So it's always a good idea to kind of keep the lid locked down while we're doing this so it doesn't fling open. Okay, so let's go ahead and pop the battery compartment open. And pop in two size D batteries here. And let's pop it back up right again. Well, this is quite a workout having to stretch and deal with this heavy watch winder here. But it's all in good fun. Okay, so let's go ahead and unlock it. Put the key down. And I've got a few watches. Just on the side here so let's go ahead and try them out so I've got my Rolex GMT Master 2 which has a 40 millimeter case size let's go ahead and pop it on so you can see it's nice and snug there but let me position it slightly 
better there so it's more centered and evenly balanced on the pillow there so there we go so just like that it's got one watch and let's go ahead and turn it on to the first position and of course what I haven't done is turn the power switch at the back on so remember there is a power switch behind so let's go ahead and turn that on and then turn the knob for the modes so let's turn it on to the first mode right there and let me try again and make sure I've done this right so that was actually off it is now on so obviously I can't read my power symbols properly there but you can see that the watch winder is now turning and it's so quiet so this is the clockwise rotation and we saw in the user manual earlier at the start that there are four operating modes so if I move this watch winder to the side and put the user manual just on the right you can see that it's in mode one so it rotates two minutes clockwise and then rests for six minutes and then it repeats and mode two does it in counterclockwise mode three does both mode one and mode two uh, continuously and then it repeats so two minutes clockwise uh, rests for six minutes and then counterclockwise for two minutes and then rests for six minutes and then it repeats and then mode four is a slightly different mode which is five minutes clockwise and then five minutes counterclockwise and does that for three hours and then rests for nine hours and then it repeats so those are the four modes obviously we're not gonna sit uh, through all four modes we're just gonna show you the clockwise and counterclockwise rotations if not this video would be a little bit too long as it is already okay so that's the clockwise rotation there and uh, let's check it out in counterclockwise and let's put the lid down and pardon the reflection there but I'll see what I can do and you can see and listen to how quiet it is now with the lid down so it was quiet with the lid up and um, it's practically silent with the lid down and let me just bring it close to the camcorder there so it's whisper quiet in operation because it has the Mabuchi motor in it as all XL van watch winders do so they're known for their silent and reliable operation okay so that was mode 2 and mode 3 and 4 will basically be clockwise and counterclockwise rotations with different timings of course so um, there's not much point showing um, or demonstrating this because it takes too long to actually see it work uh, but let's go ahead and check out the spacings in the three compartments below to see what works in them so obviously this is the Rolex GMT Master 2 here and it has a 40 millimeter case size and let's see if that will work in the compartment below so quite noticeably you can see that the pillow is smaller 
in the compartments down below. And let me just hold the lid so I don't crunch my fingers again. But you can see there that the watch just kind of sits slightly outside of the compartment. So if you have a combination or a variety of large and small watches, you can sort of uh, plan it out properly and uh, so that they don't rub against each other. But if they're all fairly large watches, then you're going to have an issue there. But otherwise, it's a nicely made watch winder. So there's something else we can try as well. Since we've only tried one watch in the turntable of the watch winder. Now let's go ahead and pop two. So let's place the GMT Master 2 back on the cushion here or pillow and slot it in. And let's try an even larger watch, which is the Audemars Piguet. We're all offshore, rubber clad here. So this is a 42 millimeter case watch. And um, it's quite chunky. So let's see if this works. And once again, let me make some minor adjustments so it sits firmly and evenly on the cushion there or pillow. And let's slot it in. And it's nice to see that there is plenty of gap between the two watches. So they're not rubbing or knocking against each other um, should you uh, start the winder and get it winding. So it's pretty nice to see. So right there. And you can see the spacing between them. So there's ample spacing without having to worry about any kind of metal to metal contact there between the two watches. So a 42 and 40 millimeter watch side by side right there. So now let's go ahead and turn it on and see if there's any difference in terms of noise or speed of the winder uh, due to the extra weight compared to just that single watch just then. And still nice and quiet and the speed is perfect. So let me put the lid down and you can hear with the lid down, it completely isolates the noise or the very low noise or hum from the motor. I'm trying to angle it so that the reflection from above the lamp doesn't show. So there we go. Two watches happily spinning around in the watch winder right there. And let's go ahead and turn it into the anti-clockwise rotation just to make sure. And it works just fine. And back to clockwise again. So a nicely made watch winder here with a very quiet winding movement right there. So that's the XL Van Twin Automatic Watch Winder. Thanks for watching and happy winding.